Uh, how long have you been married? Six years. Oh, ganun din. So, it's the same. Start na po tayo. Nagsikahan na eh. Nanaligaw na eh. He has a bachelor's degree in economics, political science, and philosophy from Wharton School, University of Pennsylvania. He also finished master's degree in business administration from the University of Chicago Booth School of Business. He was the president of Crown Asia Corporation before becoming the managing director of Vista Land and Landscapes. He was elected as congressman in Las Piñas noong 2010 and continuing the mantra, build, 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 we have with us the Philippine Secretary of the Department of Public Works and Highways, Sec Mark Villar. Hi, Sec. Hi, Tony. Thank you so much. If you were to rate yourself as a student before, ano po kayong klaseng estudyante nun? Barkada kasi ako <laughs> nung high school and college. Eh. Yun din ang naging problema ko dahil uh, barkada ako nung barkada ng high school, college. So medyo binalansi ko lang. So, uh, pero ano naman, pumasa naman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You come from a prominent family here in the Philippines, Sir yes. Mark. So, yung apelido nyo pa lang, kilalang kilala na sa buong Pilipinas. Ano po para sa inyo yung advantage and disadvantage ng pagiging isang Villar? Actually, hindi ko naman nararamdaman masyado. Eh, nung, ba, lalo, nung bata ko, wala, wala naman. I mean, nung time na hindi man nung kami uh, public servant. I guess, nung later in life, nung, uh, nung ano na ako, medyo... Uh, much older na ako, dun, dun, dun naging uh, mas public si Papa. Pero early on in life, parang simple lang ang buhay namin. Bata pa lang ako, wala naman ako. Uh, naramdaman masyado na kakaiba sa pamilya ko. Na-disciplina po ba kayo ng tatay niyo? Hindi naman siya strict, but very conscious siya sa mga, syempre, gusto niya makita na okay naman yung grades namin. Even my mother, very, very napaka-active ng mother ko sa, sa schooling ko. So, active, naman, active sila sa education namin. How was your relationship niyo with your father growing up? Uh, masaya. Minsan si Papa, nag pag weekend, siya nag dinadrive namin sa mga fast foods. I, I remember that very distinctly. Nung bata ko, talagang every Saturday, nagbe-breakfast kami. And then, si Papa nag drive and then uh, lahat kami nagsisiksikan sa, sa kotse. So, when he ran for president, noong 2010? Mm -hmm. 2010, what was that experience like for you? Ah... Uh, uh, Exciting pero stressful. Siyempre, alam mo naman na uh, pag presidential campaign na uh, maraming bumabatikos, ganyan talagang siguro pag uh, election. Yan ang uh, isang bagay na talagang inadmire ko sa tatay ko. Nakapag-move on siya kagad. I think that's very important lesson for not just for anyone. Perseverance. Kasi nung natalo siya, siguro wala pang baka the next day, balik na kagad siya sa negosyo. Nakapag-move on na siya kagad. So, I always remember that even uh, dapat resilient ka palagi. Mm. Minsan sa buhay mo talagang mabibigo ka pa minsan-minsan kailangan uh, ready ka na mag-move on. So, parang yun yung isa sa mga important lessons na nakuha niyo sa tatay niyo. Resilience. Yes, I think. And perseverance. Actually, totoo yung sinasabi. Yung tiyaga, kailangan talaga. Yun din ang gusto kong ituro sa anak ko, si Emma. Uh, dapat maging matapang ka rin. Ganun talaga ang buhay. May, may times na... Uh, mabibigo ka talaga eh. You'll really fail may, many times in life. Ako, ganun din naman ako. Whether it be academically, politically, sa business. It's normal naman yan eh. After every failure, syempre, sige. Ano bang, saan ako nagkamali? So, inaaral ko talaga. So, Parang yeah. failure is a learning experience. It's the best yeah. learning experience. Kasi even until now. Yes, you will <laughs> learn more from your failures than your successes. Diba? Yeah, I think uh, important. That's always uh, important. Paano po yung relationship niyo with your mother naman? Siguro mas uh, disciplinary yun yung mother ko. Pati yung homework, yung chinecheck ng nanay ko yung homework kung ginawa ko. Uh, Isang bagay naman po na nakuha niyo mula sa nanay niyo? I guess hard work. Kasi masipag talaga yung nanay ko eh. So, so, at nakikita ko yan araw-araw. Lead by example sila eh. So nakikita ko araw-araw. Grabe talaga sila magtrabaho. Naging values ko rin yun. Mm -hmm. eh, Nung na-assign po kayo as the Secretary of DPWH, what was that like? Nung binigay sa inyo tong challenge na to? <laughs> Malaking challenge talaga. I was very, ano, medyo... Siyempre, may konting ka ba? Pinakabahan din ako dahil uh, first time ko si executive. Galing ako sa private sector. Lahat naman tayo, di ba? Gusto natin maging uh, part ng history ng ating bansa. Makatulong naman. At uh, siyempre, lahat naman tayo lumaki sa mga... May mga problema na yung mga traffic, all these things. Lahat ng uh, mga problema. 
ng ating bansa. Frustrated tayong lahat. Ba't ganyan? At nakikita natin sa ibang bansa, wow, ang ganda ng mga, ng mga trail nila, ang ganda ng mga kalsada nila, ang ganda, ang ganda ng mga highways nila. Minsan, nakakaingit din yung development. So, inisip ko, eh, baka sana paglaki ni Emma, iba na, iba na yung... Hmm. So, that's part of yung, uh, the reason for why I became... I decided to take the job. I think for me, parang yung pinaka-importante lang na yung mga problema na na-experience ko, hindi na umabot sa next generation. Ano po yung problema na experience mo? Traffic. Hindi ako nakakauwi na maaga. Hindi ko nakikita yung anak ko. Inisip ko, eh, ang hirap naman ganitong buhay. Dalawang oras ko sa traffic. Kahit papano, wala, no regrets. Nung umupo ako, gagawin ko talaga lahat para hindi na ito umabot sa kay Emma. That's just one example. Marami pang problema. Eh. Baha, uh, Uh, yung mga, siyempre yung poverty yung pinakamalaki talaga. And, uh, para umabot tayo sa development, kailangan ayusin ma- muna natin yung infrastructure kasi wala naman mag-invest sa Pilipinas kung wala naman tayong mga mag- kung wala naman tayong transportation. Yung okay. infrastructure, yung mga kalsada natin, yung mga trend natin. E pag naayos yan, definitely, I'm sure, magiging mas maunlad. Mahirap din itong trabaho eh. Minsan hmm. nakaka-stress. Minsan inisip ko rin kung tama ba yung napili kong work, kung worth it. Pero, hindi naman para sa akin to actually. Hindi naman para sa akin to. Inisip ko na lang ang... Basta pag medyo mahirap na, pag nahihirapan na ako, inisip ko na lang yung anak ko. So, ano yung pinakamahirap na part? Hindi mo rin may awasan. May mga negative. Kahit anong gawin mo, may babatikos sa'yo. So, How minsan, do you handle po that? Uh, yung mga batikos? Minsan, pag negative, hindi ko, na binaba, hindi ko na pinapansin masyado yung mga negative. Nakafocus mm-hmm. na lang ako sa trabaho ko. Kaya... kaya Uh, tahimik lang ako usually eh. Pag, nung nagsimula ako sa DPW secretary, uh, dami nagsabi, medyo tahimik talaga ako. Hindi ako lumalabas masyado. Inisip ko, anong pwede kong sabihin? Wala pa ako nagagawa. Kakaupo ko lang. Diba? Mm-hmm. So, inisip ko na lang, sige, magtatrabaho na lang ako. At uh, papakita ko na lang. Uh, yung, yung magsasalita para sa akin yung trabaho ko. So, that's why, that was my mentality from the beginning. That, okay, uh, naintindihan ko naman, eh, bago lang ako sa... Uh, public service, walang masyadong nakakakilala sa akin, hindi nila alam yung track record ko. So, understandable na kung may buwabatikos. Uh, understandable naman yan. Uh, hindi ko na pinersya na. Inisip ko na lang, sige, gagawin ko yung kailangan kong gawin. At uh, in the end, yung, yung infrastructure, yun ang magsasilita para sa akin. What are you most proud of po dun sa build 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 project mo? Lahat I'm I'm very proud of not not my work but the work of the people even around me the whole team. And I'm very proud to work with them. Dahil every day uh, grabe yung trabaho nila. Grabe talaga sila magtrabaho for the past few years and wala naman silang acknowledgement. Mm-hmm. Ito mga kasama ko lahat uh, grabe yung character nila. So I have the highest respect for them. And that's what I'm very proud of. The work of the people uh, in the department and even All around. Di ba sabi niyo po kanina, galing kayo sa private sector, tapos now you're working in a position where it's very public. Yes. Ano po yung pinakamalaking difference nun sa dalawa? Ako, personally, uh, medyo mahihayin ako. Hindi ako masyadong uh, outgoing na tao. Kung pwede lang, sa bahay na lang, hindi na ako lalabas sa media. Pero alam ko naman, importante din na i-report sa tao yung mga ginagawa ng government. Kailangan malaman din nila. Kasi syempre, uh, pera nila yun eh. So, Naging mas outgoing ako. Nag-adjust din ako sa buhay ng public servant. And so, what pag- do you like most dito sa ginagawa niyo po? Uh, yung, fu- yung fulfillment, I think. Uh, alam, pag nakikita mo na tapos na yung tulay or tapos na yung highway and naririnig mo yung mga, y- yung mga comments ng mga tao na, Uy, ang ganda. Dati, ganito yung biyahe namin. Ngayon, 20 minutes na lang. Dati, dalawang oras ang traffic. That really makes it big feel na everything was worth it, the sacrifice, mm. everything. And at least may nagawa naman tayo in the time here. Yun ang, I wanted to make sure from the beginning that at least in the end, I can I can say that uh, may nagawa, uh, malaki naman ang uh, improvement. If there's one thing naman that you don't like, I don't like, uh, yung, minsan may mga angle na uh, mag-aanap ng negative sa mga project. Kasama na yan. Bahagi naman ng trabaho natin yan eh. What do you prioritize po in life? Ah, of course, family. Always number one. In the end, uh, kaya ako nga ginagawa to para sa pamilya. Para, like I said, especially now with my daughter. Yun, yun na lang ang uh, isa sa pinaka 
my daughter and my wife, you know, my inspiration sa buhay ko. And of course, my family. Like in life, I've been blessed. I've already been very blessed, more than most. So I thought, at least the least I can do is give my daughter a better, a better future, future de ba? Ay maganda naman better. Sure, iba pa rin pag uh, yung, yung bansa natin uh, maunlad na, de ba? Mm -hmm. So yun na yun na lang ang pinakimportante sa akin, in, especially in this work. Kung tutusin, hindi naman man kailangan, but definitely kasama yon sa gusto kong i-accomplish sa buhay ko. Hindi ko naisip nung pumasok ako sa public service na magiging DPWH secretary. It was never... Ano po ba dream niyo nung bata ko? Nung bata ko, maging basketball player. <laughs> pero kinulang talaga sa height. At, uh, pero nagpapractice naman ako araw-araw. Eh. Kasi was gusto first... niyo pumasok sa PBA, gano'n? Yeah. Uh, hindi mas... Kulang sa sukat. <laughs> Reality check. So, naging, tinanggap ko naman kagad. At isa pa yung importanteng uh, leksyon sa buhay. <laughs> Sometimes, yung destiny mo, tanggapin mo na lang. Eh, I accept, like, the reality of the situation. Pero dati, mahilig talaga ako sa basketball. Nanonood ako ng basketball. I, my, when I was growing, my favorite player was ano, Alan Kaidik. Mm -hmm. So, that was my dream nung bata ko, maging basketball player. Tapos nagulat kayo dito kayo din alam. Yeah, hindi ko nga alam pa paano ako bumagsak sa DPWH. Mm -hmm. uh, from PBA to DPWH. So, <laughs> di mo talaga masasabi. Mm -hmm. Yung destiny mo talaga, destiny talaga. Anong plano Kung ni Lord? Kung saan ka talaga tatawagin. Ano? Uh, anong plano ni Lord? Di ba? Yes. yes. Yung tatay ko, nung bata ako, kinikwento niya palagi na ganito ang gusto niyang gawin. Yung mga highways, ganyan. Kinikwento niya, dapat i-connect natin. Dapat may isang highway tayo para at least... Ano, connected yung buong bansa. Kung gusto pumunta sa Bicol, mabilis na, ganyan. May mga ganong kwento siya. And, and I never thinking that one day magiging DPWH secretary ako. So, inisip ko rin nung in-offer sa akin yung trabaho, baka somehow message din to para sa akin na somehow, hindi naman nanalo si Papa sa election, pero binigyan pa kami ng pagkakataon para ma-realize yung mga pangarap niya. So, yeah. I, and yun din ang isa sa mga pumasok sa isip ko nung in-offer sa akin yung work. Hindi kaya kasama to sa plano ni Lord. Since ito na naging path ng career ko, uh, I really, mm -hmm. gusto ko talagang galingan ito ng <laughs> work ko. And I, I always knew that the infrastructure so napaka-importante talaga. Sabi niyo po kanina, ang pinakamalaking inspirasyon niyo dito sa trabaho niyo at sa ginagawa niyo, yung family niyo. And when I learned about your love story, it's so yeah. inspiring. You met po your wife noong 2010 sa Congress. Yes, yes. Pareho kayong neophyte na lawmakers. Yes. Asawa ko kasi very, ano, very, uh, very intelligent, maganda siya. Speaking so, of intelligent, she graduated magna cum laude sa Luzon. Yeah. Buti pa siya, intelligent. <laughs> very ano, maganda yung uh, ano niya, yung academic uh, career niya. Mm -hmm. So, ako I, I was very attracted to her. So, umpisa pa lang, pero hindi hindi siya masyadong attracted sa akin. So, nung na meet niyo siya kasi she comes from the descendants of uh, Aglipa hindi ko yes, ba? Yes, yes, yes. Her so, father was uh, that naging ano PNP chief. Yes. Uh, yes. And then yung lolo niya, uh, military also. Yung lolo sa Manuel Yan, yung yes. sa Yes, Manuel Yan. Yan. Yes, Tapos yes. di ba great descendants din po siya ni Gregorio Aguilar. Yes, Alipan. yes. So talagang uh, ano sila may history sila no of uh, more uniform services. Mm -hmm. Ano po yung mm -hmm. nagpa-attract sa inyo sa asawa niyo kay Miss M? The whole package. Mm -hmm. <laughs> intelligent, pretty. Usap kami naging friends kami and then paminsan-minsan niyayaya ko siya mag-lunch or Okay. Dinner. Ang um, concern niya talaga yung lupus niya dahil may, may sakit siya. How did she reveal to you her sickness? Yung mga symptoms niya. Minsan nawawala, minsan nakakalbo siya. Para sa akin, eh, mahal ko siya eh. So, mm -hmm. hindi naman naging issue yung lupus. Pero pinag-aralan ko yan kung so, paano siya. So, nalaman niyo na ang lupus, it's an autoimmune disease that attacks the tissues and organs of your body. So, how did you look at her after learning about her sickness? Ina-admire ko talaga yung lakas niya eh. I mean, para nakikita ko na parang hindi niya, hindi naging hadlang yung lupus. I, I, I never even noticed it. Pag nakikita mo siya, parang, parang bali wala. So, very courageous the way she handles the lupus. And maraming challenges kasi even, like, even giving birth, di ba? Yeah. Kaya napakalaking blessing yung anak namin. You call her uh, a miracle. nag nga kami. Pumunta pa kami sa mga, marami kami pinuntahan simbahan para magpray na magkaroon kami ng anak. And uh, that's why ang pangalan ni Emma is Emma Therese. Dahil Saint, nag kami kay St. Therese. And then, uh, ano, malaking blessing kasi rightly uh, after nag kami, uh, na buntis si Emma. Mm. Uh, Kamusta po yung pregnancy niya? Was it difficult? Maselan, maselan. Ano, 
uh, very difficult uh, for her, uh, especially. Uh, so I was very, uh, I admire her very much kasi ano talaga, lahat na kailangan ka ginawa niya talaga. Kasi pag may lupus ka, minsan yung lupus, inatak niya yung, pati yung anak mo. Eh. So, uh, ang daming kailangan gawin. May mga, ano, may mga ini-inject. Uh, halos araw-araw may ini-inject. May mga gamot na tinitake siya. Tapos may times na mahinang-mahina siya dahil yung, sa, sa, ma, low blood siya. So there during were times during pregnancy kailangan kailangan Was she bedridden? There were times she needed uh, yung mga she needed transfusion, she needed. Uh, so it was very difficult. Takot din kami na baka magkaroon ng problema si Emma. She was only 4.5 pounds. Pero ngayon wala nang problema, sobra-sobra na. Sobra-sobra na yung weight, height. Sobrang healthy ni Emma. Kaya nakakatuwa rin na napakalaking bless. I always that's the one thing I'm always thankful for. Yung health ng baby ko. Mm-hmm. Di ba pag nagkakaanap po tayo ng babago ng isang tao? Yes. Ano pong nabago sa inyo? Para sa akin, naging mas malakas ang loob ko eh. Kasi yun, katulad ng kinuwento ko kanina, pag may problema ko, at uh, pag hirap na hirap na ako, inisip ko na hindi naman para sa akin. Di ba sabi po nila, our kids sometimes can be our best teachers in life. Yeah. Ano po yung pinakamalaking naituro naman sa inyo ng anak ninyo? Ako, one, one sacrifice, selflessness. Kasi sobrang mahal ko si Emma. Mahal na mahal ko si Emma. And everything I do, is, uh, it's always thinking to the future. Mas ganun na ako mag-isip eh. So, especially with this job. Kaya, kaya hindi, na maging, hindi na problema sa akin eh. Hindi ako nasa-stress. Dahil uh, pag na-stress ako, inisip, yun na lang iniisip ko eh. Hindi, para kay Emma naman to. Mm-hmm. And when you think of it from that perspective, na para, kay, para sa anak mo to, ay lahat kaya mong gawin. Lahat, lahat talaga titisin mo. Mm-hmm. So, kung may batikos, kung may problema, okay lang, kayang-kaya ko yan. Hindi naman to para sa akin, para sa anak ko naman yan. Eh. Titisin mm-hmm. ko talaga yan. At least, at the end of the day, pagbaba ko dito sa pwesto, I can say na ano, ang iniwan ko sa anak ko at sa anak ng marami, mas maganda yung iniwan natin. So, if I were to ask you, what is success po para sa inyo? Kasi, if we look at you, parang you lived a successful life na eh. But well, if you were to define success, Oh, magandang uh, tanong yan. If I were the divine success, ako, it starts with family first. When I say with your family, happiness with the family, health in the family. And of course, when it comes to public service, in the end, it's also for your family, what you're doing. Para, ano, ano, pag, uh, at least, uh, ang may iwan mo sa anak mo, mas maganda sa... <laughs> Uh, dinatnan mo, mo di ba? Y- yun na lang ang ano eh. I think that's for me that's success if I leave my children with something better than I experienced mm-hmm. I think that's the ultimate form of success for any for any parent we're very happy especially with our daughter talaga uh, nakakatuwa talaga yun ang happiness talaga namin yung anak namin maka mamamit mo siya mamaya mm-hmm. nandito lang siya but uh, she's uh, she's really like uh, our one of our driving forces. What is your dream for the DPWH? 18,000 yung DPWH of 18,000 strong with engineers and dami mga professionals sa DPWH. So, gusto ko talaga na maging uh, isang mas mas professional na organization. Kaya marami din kaming na-implement yung mga software systems, lahat para maging mas efficient yung monitoring namin, maging mas maganda yung service namin sa Sa, sa tao. So, I, I really, the, yun ang dream ko, maging professional, very admired, professional organization. May saying sa basketball. And I go back to my basketball dahil yun ang talagang, ta, yun, ang, yun ang talent ko. Tax. Tax. <laughs> <laughs> <Nux. laughs> I go back to ano, Kobe Bryant, yung isang idol ko sa basketball, mm-hmm. si Kobe. They always say, like, when you, in anything, when you play a game, you, at the end of the day, you want to leave it all in the court. Meaning? Meaning, eh, lahat. Ibubuhos mo for the next six months. I just want to say that when I stepped down, I left everything at the court. Meaning, yung effort, lahat. Yung pagod, hirap, dugot. <laughs> lahat, uh, iniwan ko sa court. So, everything. I got no regrets in the end. Yun, yun lang naman ang uh, uh, amaze na ay doon. Uh, at the end of the day, no regrets. Gawin ko talaga lahat. I'm not gonna say that, uh, ay, sayang. Dapat ginalingan ko pa yan. Hindi, gagawin ko talaga lahat in the next few months. Tatapusin ko lahat ng kaya kong tapusin. At one point in your life, you became the secretary of DPWH. How would you want the people to remember you? Hindi naman accomplishment to ni Mark Villar. Ito po ay, ano, these are the accomplishments of so many people. You know, ako naman, I'm just one person there helping. But the reality is, there's so many people, six million, who worked on this project. So I think, you know, I'm the last person who should get credit for that. Doon ako sa 6 million and 1. 
Kasi yung 6 billion, wala naman bumabanggit sa kanila masyado, but they're the ones who are really, you know, working every day. So I leave that to other people to decide on what they want to think of me. Basta sa akin, I want, I want what we did to be remembered. Uh, I want these roads, you know, and that's you know, kagandahan din ng, uh, ng mga projects namin, mga kalsada. It'll be there forever, even after we're all gone here, nandyan pa rin yan, and people will remember what happened. I'm sure M is so proud of you. Thank you, thank She you. She will be very proud of you pag laki niya, uy, ginawa ng tatay ko yan. Sa totoo lang, yun ang parang iniisip ko yun, parang fantasy ko yan minsan, iniisip ko. Yun, alam mo, one day matanda na ako, dadaling ko si Emma sa mga tulay na nagawa namin. Yung tulay na to, ginawa ng tatay mo yan. Hindi mo alam, may picture pa ako. Oh, nice, <laughs> I hope, I, I look forward to that day. You know, one day, that at least. And that's for me, that's that's more than enough. The fact that it 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 goes beyond me, even even her kids. So that's something that uh, walang katapat yan. <laughs> Alagang, uh, it's something that uh, that kind of fulfillment is amazing. Pag inisip mo na para sa anak mo to, ah, wala na lahat kaya mo. Wala nang, wala nang mahirap pag ginagawa mo yan para sa anak mo, para sa next generation. Madali na yung mga uh, pagsubok na yan. <laughs>